Hi, welcome to the ABAP internal structure session. So uh, let's start by calling the ABAP editor SE38. Uh, let's take a look at this program. I'll click on the display button. And from here, I will navigate to this include program to show you the data definition session. So data definition session uh, is not executed when you debug. Do you know why? This is because it's used purely for data definition. There is actually no executable code there. Here it is where the auxiliary structures used by the program are defined. The most important ones are variables. Variables are memory positions where a variable basic one-dimensional data is stored. On the screen here in this session you can see a lot of variables used for a certain purpose. But Imagine that it's necessary to calculate the net due date of a receivable open position, which has to be determined based on a baseline date and the number of days. There is a standard function that can calculate the net due date for us, but we need to store it somewhere for future reference. This place is a memory position we call variable it can be addressed by its name. Okay, so it's indeed very simple. These are all examples of variables. Constants. We can see here on the screen an example of constants. This is uh, one. So for instance, it might be necessary to know in a report if an amount is stored in US dollars or not. In this case, the developer, developer can create a constant of type currency and assign to it the value USD. So it can be compared to the transaction current currency later on. On the screen, this is an example of the constant. This is its type and this is its value. Uh, value. It will never change. This constant will always have this value. We also have more complex objects like work areas, for instance. Work areas are memory positions where variable, complex, one-dimensional data is stored. One moment of your attention here. Variables can change over time, whereas constants are fixed values. What's then the difference between variables and work areas as both can be changed during runtime? and are one dimension dimensional objects any idea well the, the difference uh, is that work areas are complex objects in comparable in comparison to the basic variables um, imagine an application you are applying for a job, for instance, and then you are asked to fill in your address in a form. A work area for the address data will have fields like street, house number, zip code, city and country. On the screen, this variable here at the bottom is a work area. And how do I know it? I know it because if I double click its type, I can see that it's composed by two other structures, each one with their own fields. So if I double click here on the next type, I can see that this type is composed by four fields. And the same happens to the other one. So it, it has its fields. Okay. So the base key uh, resulting work area is a combination of all these fields. Moving on, um, the last one that I will present to you are internal tables. Please pay serious attention here to 
because this object is crucial for the correct understanding of a program in a debugging session. Internal tables are also stored memory positions, usually used to store data retrieved from database table, tables or tabular data entered online by user. The main difference between this object and work areas is that internal tables are two-dimensional objects. So just having the, the, the field name is not enough to obtain the data stored on it. Something else is required. In this case, I need to have the index or line number. Um, using the, the same example applied to the explanation of the work areas, I need to know a, a, a street in, in, in an address. To, to, to be able to do this, I need to know the line where this specific address is stored. In other words, which applicants the street belongs to. Let me show you here in the, in the above code. Um, I'm sorry, I have to look for table only. Um, okay, so I have here on the bottom of the screen. Let me scroll up a little bit. Okay, good. So I have here uh, this internal table, at underscore all underscore umkrrs. Uh, this is of type, this is a table, type table of this uh, field. So uh, I will have here, like I might have here many lines, all of the lines referring to this object. So this is a complex two-dimensional object. I need to have, uh, the, the, the field name is not enough for, for me to retrieve the information. I have to have the line where the information is stored.